Well, welcome back to Bay Area Focus. My next guest brings chess, martial arts, and hip hop all together. Adisa the Bishop is founder of the Hip Hop Federation and curator of a very informative hip hop exhibit going on at the Oakland Museum. So welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thank you so much. I'm okay. honored to be here. So let's talk about this exhibit. It's yeah. called Respect. Yeah, Respect, Hip Hop Style and Wisdom. It's open till August 12th and it's an amazing look at 50 years of hip hop history where you come in, there's a dual screen kind of a remix video done by Mike Realm uh, that takes you through hip hop from the Bay and all across the country. And then when you go to the back, we look at how car culture has impacted hip hop. We have like a six four Impala convertible, nice. looks crazy, all kinds of classic hip hop fashion. Uh, but we also have like beat machines and, and DJ areas where people can make their own beats, they can scratch, they can dance. So it's very interactive, right? Because so many people go, like, why is hip hop so big? Right. When you come, and you see this interaction and you do this interaction, you'll know why it's so big. Well, I mean, when hip hop first came out, people were like, okay, this is going to yeah, be Yeah, it'll be, <laughs> yeah, we'll, and, we'll see in a year. Uh, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now there are classes you can take. Oh, man, there's college classes, there's there's summer camps, there's uh, high school courses, because I teach at, I teach uh, hip hop stuff at, at, at a college level and, and, and uh, high school, mm -hmm. and college is fun. What is it about hip hop? I think what it is, is hip hop allows you to express yourself uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a very pure state. I think that hip hop is the most American institution because it encourages you to be authentic, mm -hmm. right? W when people are at the top, they're at their most authentic self. As soon as people switch up, like everybody leaves them. And so that's why, because it encourages that originality and it encourages that, um, the acceptance of being yourself. Right, and yeah. that shows that shows some vulnerability. Yeah, it, it, it forces you to be very vulnerable. You know what I mean? Who are you really? Like if you look at all of the all of the most extreme and very funny and political opinions in hip hop, um, it really is kind of a barometer for you to figure out who you are, mm -hmm. right? Did that offend you or do you agree with it? Mm -hmm. Did this inspire you or right. did it, you know what I mean? Or did it hurt your esteem? These are the kinds of things that hip hop does and this is why hip hop is so big in education. Mm -hmm. This is why it continues to grow. There are a lot of different ways that hip hop is, uh, you know, helping people become better at math, become better readers, become better thinkers, you know, critical, cognitive thinkers. Um, and these are the things that uh, respect hip hop style and wisdom celebrates. And hip hop makes you become a better chess player, you say, how yeah. does that happen? So people, um, it's always kind of a shock, but what a lot of people don't know is that rap music celebrates chess more than any other form of music on the planet. Okay, tell me how. Right, so uh, the lyrics from Wu-Tang Clan, from Public Enemy, from EPMD, there's a new song right now by a really popular young rapper named NBA Youngboy. Okay. His new song is called Villain, and in that video, he's playing chess in the street with his friends, and then he's boxing in other uh, sections because it's about this integration of hip hop and martial arts. And so, you know, that's kind of a <clears throat> an extension of Kendrick Lamar, of Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, you know, Wu-Tang Clan had the song called The Mystery of Chess Boxing. And so, you know, it's kind of a, a ripple effect of that legacy. But the, the, the root of it is when hip hop really became popular in the early 70s, that's when Bobby Fischer won the world championship. Okay. And so during those times, uh, chess was not like a sidebar sport. Everybody played it in America. It was everywhere. And so the same streets that people were battling on for, with dancing and DJing, were the same parks that people were playing chess in. So these strategies kind of started bleeding over, mm -hmm. right? And that's when Bruce Lee came out with Enter the Dragon in 1973. Okay, so you've correlated all yeah. of these different things, and how do you put that all together to teach young people? Well, what we do is, um, initially, the reason why I use uh, hip hop is like, I, I was teaching at a juvenile hall this week, and what I do is I say, look, Tupac was a chess player, Jay-Z was a chess player, Will Smith, 50 Cent, um, they're very successful. Don't you wanna be successful? Mm -hmm. Well, then let's think about how to be more critical. If you're playing chess, you're dealing with issues of risk, of structure, of recovery from loss, right? Mm -hmm. Of losing and winning with dignity, right? Not being like all in somebody's face, sure. irrespective of the outcome. And so this is what we talk about in Juvenile Hall. Then what? how could this position on the board be like a position in your life? Mm -hmm. And let's think about what's worth sacrificing, right? Yeah. So um, yesterday I was talking about the queen's sacrifice of your life. Everybody knows the queen is the most important uh, sure. piece on the board. So I said, okay, well, what do you wanna be in life? And then what are you gonna have to give up to be that? Mm -hmm. What is the queen's sacrifice and are you gonna be, have the courage to 
to make that sacrifice. God, all these life lessons with the, the chess board. I mean, yeah. it's good when you bring all of that up. Okay, we do know that there is a summer camp going yeah, on Yeah, we well. have a summer camp uh, at the Gardner Center, which is at 520 West Virginia uh, in San Jose, right off Bird at the Gardner Center. And we're teaching chess. This week we're also teaching coding, but we also have theater, we have sports, we do all kinds of things to keep the kids engaged. And uh, it's a very fun camp. We have lots of kids there. We do, we're, they're doing a forensics camp right now. Yeah. So uh, one of the girls was like, I was investigating fingerprints yesterday, trying to figure out, you know, who done it, oh, you know? Great. And it's just really cool. It's yeah. really cool. That sounds so it's like very a lot fun. of fun. It yeah. sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I'm never going to look at chess again the same. Awesome. I know. It's awesome. Good. And I'm never going to play you because I know you're beating me. <laughs> Right. You never know. You might be raw. I don't know. I don't think so, but yeah, it's good. Thanks well, thank for you for having on me on the show. show. Yes. I appreciate you. And remember, Adisa's exhibit, Respect, it's going to be at the Oaken Museum through August 12th. And for more information about his chess camp, just go to hiphopchess.com. Coming up, a new play about high stakes world of finance, Dry Powder, when Bay Area Focus returns.